In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a project and then how to manage the projects that we create. So after you open Filmora, this is the window that you will see. Uh, this is where you get to choose your uh, aspect ratio, create your project, open the recent ones and explore the stuff that are on your Wondershare cloud. So right now we're in the create project tab and we get to choose the aspect ratio first. We have a 16 by nine, which is a white screen. We have a one by one, which is a square, a nine by 16, which is the opposite of this one. We got horizontal and then we got a vertical. We have a four by three, which is suitable for Instagram videos. And finally, we have a 21 by nine, which is a rather large project. So if you want to do a really large project for large displays, then you can go ahead and choose this aspect ratio. But we're going to stick with 16 by nine today. And once you've chosen this, you can go ahead and create your new project. Next to it, we have an option to open projects that we have already created. And this could be on either your local drive or from an external drive. Down here, we got some tools that are pretty helpful. We're going to get into these later. And down here, we get to choose whether we want to see this window when we launch Filmora. And again, here we can see our recent projects. You can also access your recent projects from here. So local projects are projects that are on your local device, which is the device that you're using right now to open Filmora. Whatever you save to your desktop, your folders is going to show up here. Next to it, we have our cloud projects. These are projects that are backed up and they are on your Wondershare drive. Right now we don't have anything on it, but basically uploading your important projects to this drive is a great way to avoid them going missing. Because sometimes when you save projects on your device, something could happen to that device and you end up losing a very important project. We're going to see how to save projects to our local device and to our Wondershare drive. If you wanted to work with your drive, you can go over here to manage it or you can uh, add more space to it by going over here. Both of these tabs, we have a search bar that you can look for a certain project. So let's go ahead and create our first project. Just click this and we are now inside the workspace of Filmora. So let's go ahead and quickly make something. I'm going to get some sample colors right here. And let's say this is my first project. I will go to file save as and I can save this onto my local device. So I'm going to go to my desktop. Let's call this blue. Hit save and it's now saved on my device. And if I minimize this, we now have a blue dot WFP, which stands for Wondershare Filmora project. Let's go back in here. So this was my first project. I'm going to make another project, but this time we're going to uh, do it a little differently. I will go to File, New, and right here instantly I can make a project using any of these aspect ratio. You can also hit Control N or Command N. I will make this a portrait. There we go, so it's vertical. Let's get another sample color. Let's add the checkerboard right here. And now I have these two. It's a vertical uh, project. I'm just going to make it, just drag it like this. There we go. So let's go ahead and save this project as well. I will go to save as, save as. Let's call this project two. Hit save. And now I went ahead and saved these both on my local drive. So you cannot save projects directly to your uh, drive. You got to upload them later. So right now, if I close my workspace, I'm brought back to here. And if I go to my recent projects, I now have both of these here. Right now, they're just on my local project tab and not on my cloud project because we did not upload them yet. You can see they're on my desktop as well. So in my local projects, I'm going to upload project two to my cloud to keep it safe and leave it for some other time. So you can see this icon right here. I'm just going to press this icon and it will upload this to my cloud. 
There we go. Now we can see, click back up to Wondershare Drive. And now this guy is in my cloud. If you're working on a project with someone else, you would need to do this and then you can share it right here. You can give them an access code uh, or give them no code. Give a validity period, how long they can, uh, how long they have to download it. You can give them an access code, it's like a password that they need to put in before they get to your uh, project. Create a link, there we go. And that way you can give this link to your colleague or your friend and they just need to enter this password to download this project. And then you can work on this project together. So that's how you can share onto your Wondershare drive and share it with other people. If you want to access that project, you can also hit this guy. It's going to open it up right here, just like we left it. Another way that you can save your projects is by archiving them. So right now, if I were to uh, make a new project, let's go ahead and do that. Save this. Okay, this time I'm going to import things from my local device. So I'm not going to use the stuff that are in Filmora, but instead I'm just going to import things from my computer. So I'm just gonna press that and just get this song and this photo. Now these two uh, things are just on my computer. So if I wanna share this project with my friend, they will not have access to this because they don't have it on their computer. So if I were to just put these right here, there's my photo, there's my song. Let's just cut the song, it's way too long. So if I were to save this, uh, let me save this again, save as, and call this a uh, photo project. Okay, saving project. I went ahead and closed Filmora and we can see it right here. Now I'm just going to move the stuff that I put in that project and just delete them. So I'm just going to go to the file location that had that one photo and that one music. I will just go in my finder and I'm going to get the music and the photo and we're just going to just move it somewhere else actually. Just put it on my desktop. All right, so that's that. Now I'm just going to open my photo project and we can see that we have missing files. So missing files uh, basically means that the files are not in the original position that they were when you made this project. So my friend is going to get the same error because they don't have that photo and that music, even though I gave them the shared project. So they would have to get this music and this photo directly from me. I would have to share it on a drive or something, and it's just going to be very long. And even if they wanted to locate it, they wouldn't have the, uh, the content. But I do, so I'm just going to hit one of these and locate my song because I have it on my computer and Filmora detects the photo as well. So how do we make and save a project that my friend can access without having to get the content separately from me? Uh, that is where archiving projects comes in. It's different from saving projects, which is what we've been doing all this time. But essentially with archiving, we get to keep the exact content within the project. So I'm just going to do it real quick and then we can see what the difference is. I'm just gonna go here, file, archive project. Let's uh, save this on my desktop. I'm gonna call this photo project two. This is different from the one we created already. Hit save, and there we go. I'm going to get out of here, minimize for more. And now I have, let's move this here. I have photo project, which is what we made in the first place. And then we have photo project two dot WFP bundle. So you can see the uh, extension is different already. Let's go ahead and look at the size of this guy. Right click, get info. We can see that it's 164 kilobytes, which is pretty small considering we have a three minute or I guess four minute long audio. So this audio alone is 44 megabytes, but 
this project that had this audio is only uh, 164 kilobytes. So the reason why this is happening is because this photo project that we made initially didn't quite save the content, but it only saved the data of those contents. So that is why when we try to open it after we move the content from where they were initially onto another place, we got that uh, missing files error. So when you save projects regularly, you're not saving the content inside that project. Now let's take a look at this second project. Right click, get info. So you can see this guy is 52 megabytes. How is it possible? It's the same project with the same stuff in it. And this one is way smaller and this one is way bigger. It's gonna get the info of our photo as well while we're here. Just right click and see what we're working with. So just by looking at the size, we can see that the second project, photo project two, saved everything that we had in the project. So it combined these two and it's inside the uh, project. So if I were to share this photo project two with my friend, they would be able to get this song and this photo inside the project without having to get it from me separately. And that saves a lot of time. So I'm going to close these for a second. I'm just going to move these two to another place. Let's call it place. So we are again changing the location. Just drag them in here. And now I'm going to open, uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to open photo project two, the bundle one. Double click. First, we're going to uh, choose a place. I'll just leave this, hit okay. I have the photo and the music, even though I changed the location of the content. I have them here. They play nicely, although it's a photo. Now let's go ahead and open the photo project, the regular Wondershare uh, Filmora project. Double click. We can see we have missing files. So when you want to share a project with someone, or if you just want to keep the videos and other content in the project at all times, you would have to archive projects instead of saving them like you normally would do. Let's ignore all. And if I were my friend, I would have to deal with this. And then I would have to get the uh, content separately uh, through another platform. So that is how you get to save projects in a more efficient way. How to save them on your cloud as archives or as regular Wondershare Filmora projects. And of course, if you wanted to um, manage your project, now that we have four projects that we made in this lesson, I get to go to um, either here to open my project directly. I can open blue like so. You can also double click if you want, but there are times where you save a project to a random location and you don't know where it is. You can easily go here and find it. If you know the name, you can look it up here. Let's type blue. There's my project. And these are on my local drive. Again, if I want to put them on my cloud, I would have to hit this button. I'm just going to put this on my cloud, the blue project. There we go. And now I have this. I have two projects. I can delete them, share them somewhere else like we already saw. And yeah, there isn't much to do when it comes to saving projects and managing them in Filmora. Everything is pretty easy, just as we saw here. Now let's go ahead and explore our Wondershare drive that comes with our subscription. You should all have this. The storage may vary, but you can always just buy more storage. So let's go ahead and manage our drive. It's going to open up a window. I'm going to delete that one. And apart from saving it on the cloud, you have this personal space where you get to upload uh, either your Wondershare Filmora projects, the exported video, or just anything else that you'd like. It works pretty much like um, Google Drive. You have your cloud drive, you get to make folders, upload. You can make folders here. You can go to your projects. And if you go in Filmora, we see the two projects that we saved on our cloud. So if anything were to happen to my computer, I can always just log into my Wondershare drive 
and download the two projects that I need. So we have shared projects as well. So this is the project that we attempted to uh, share where we got the password and the link. You can see that the state is in seven days. That is the number of days that we kept for the uh, valid period. And if you share the project with someone, they would get something like this as well in their drive. And we have a limit of 10. So you can also star things and manage them better. If you're prioritizing a project, you can uh, star that. So to star uh, anything, you would have to go to your cloud drive and just uh, select it here and then star it. So this has a little star next to it. And let's say this is something very important. I can go in my start and access it really quickly. I can download it, move it to another location, unstart, copy, rename, and so much more. Saving your projects over here is a great way to avoid losing any projects. And it's also a great way to share things with your um, colleagues. And that is how you can create and manage projects using Wondershare Filmora.